News 3 starts now with breaking news. We do our jobs, but we're all kind of shocked by this fire, of course. It's, it's just horrible. When you hear the fire chief say that, uh, it really means something. This home was destroyed by a fast-moving fire overnight. Two people are in the hospital. They jumped from the flames. The search continues tonight for more potential victims who may be inside. They have to shore up this structure before they can uh, finish the search. We begin with new developments in that major breaking news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Latoya Silmet is on assignment. Four people are missing after flames tore through that home near Jones and windmill. We have team coverage tonight here at six, but let's start with Denise Ross, who is live from that destroyed home with the latest on the incident. Yeah, Marie, this is being called a recovery operation tonight. Crews are still meticulously going through debris after four people remain missing from that early morning house fire. Behind me here, you can see the, the scene still very active, and I'm told crews could be here through tomorrow. We heard uh, like a big pop, like an explosion. And then my, my dog starts barking. Ferdinand Dominga says his first thought was fireworks, a commotion in his southwest Las Vegas neighborhood, waking him up just before 4 o'clock Thursday morning. But Dominguez quickly realized it was something much more serious. And look at the window and saw it's a big big fires. His neighbor's house engulfed in flames. My wife talked to the uh, to the to the neighbor and she was she was she was crying and it, she said that you know uh, her husband and kids are in, are in the house and she only grabbed one one of the kids. According to the Clark County Fire Department, that mother and child jumped from a third floor window, but four other family members were unaccounted for. The top two floors collapsing as firefighters began attacking the flames. We do our jobs, but we're all kind of shocked by this fire, of course. It's, it's just horrible. Clark County Fire Chief John Steinbeck. We'll go through, we'll do uh, vertical shoring and what we call raker shores. So those shores are built to hold walls up that are uh, either from the exterior or interior side and uh, replace all those structural members that got burned. And then we will tunnel through the debris, setting crimming and shoring as we go to to make it safe to uh, get to the areas that we think we need to get to. Once the fire was out, Marlene McCross says firefighters knocked on her door. Asked if I, he could use my camera because my camera apparently is the only one around here and it can visualize down the street. She and other neighbors in disbelief over the extent of the tragedy. So we've seen the kids. Um, obviously, all the neighbors and the kids are always playing around. So you're always kind of being friendly and just, you know, saying hi. But, you know, it's really sad to see somebody here in the neighborhood um, having to go through something like that because you never expect it to be yourself or anybody around you. And it's kind of it's really sad. And we have just been given word that those four victims have now been located. Two adults, two juveniles. We'll have so much more on this continuing story on later editions of News 3. For now, reporting live, Denise Roche, News 3. Oh, no. it's just heartbreaking. It is a, just a horrible loss there, and that information just coming in. Denise, appreciate getting that uh, from the scene, but just a devastating loss from this one.